I don't think people realize is that this is a national laboratory. If you look around, you know, on the walls and uh, every one of these bays, there's a, another experiment essentially or a systems rack that actually keeps the uh, space station operating. This place is incredible. We've had astronauts living and working on the space station for over 22 years of continuous presence at this point. And it's really an honor to get to continue that uh, tradition. Thank you very much for all your help this morning. Thank you for all your help today. And I'm uh, excited to learn more about what we're uh, printing here and uh, see how it goes. For the last two months, I've been working on a lot of experiments, and I recall working on heart tissues. I saw some heart tissues beating in space, and it was incredible. These tissues are receiving medication on board the station, and this can help us uh, develop some medication uh, for uh, heart diseases on, on Earth. Photon, we see that top one beating. Yeah, it looks like happy heart cells. Every day is truly unique and different. We could be doing anything from spending all day in a glove box working on science experiments to doing science on ourselves. And this is not a fashion statement. This is actually part of the science we do up here. Yeah, I actually have a whole suit with a suite of tools that are measuring part of my biometrics. So we are our own experiments as well. This is actually a cylindrically shaped airlock that we have the capability to put small payloads inside of and send them out to space. So this is our launcher that deploys these small satellites. There's a spring in the back and that provides the force to launch the satellites. I think humanity has an innate desire to explore. This is one big part of our constant exploration as humanity.